okay T, here we are. The banks of the Kankakee on the left, um, links and T's today. And, and I've been fussing at you, I'm gonna fuss at you again. You gotta get better with this posture. I mean, heck, your posture was better in the fall of 2009 than it is now. You gotta get better at that, bud. Okay, so what you're gonna see is, I'm just gonna start over here, and look how much you were sliding back then. And we'd already talked about it a little bit, but we hadn't really got into the stack and tilt too much in those days. Okay. So, look how much better you are of, of working around that left leg. So good. So, really good two. Really good three. Alright, let's look at your three over here. So, the threes are almost identical. Uh, except your, your pit, you're going to pivot much better on the left, right, I can guarantee. Alright, look at your club face. Look how shut you were. Look how shut you were, and then you're just falling into it. Well, those that upper body then was really trying to race, race past the lower body. I mean, it, in itself, the pivot's pretty good, but I I would say turn your shoulders and leave them there, and then let that little lower body get started. Let's see how you do today. Okay, so and you're swinging much easier now. Look at this right here. Ding 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 ding. Look at this club face. How good is that? Huh? Look at that. I can see the whole thing right there. Look at that club face. Versus this one over here. I mean, I can see a little bit of it. But just night and day difference. Um, this is not a huge deal to me. But I like your left arm position a little bit here. So try to keep that arm a little more extended. Um, you know, essentially... That's what your left arm should look like over there on the right, that line I just drew. Okay? Because you can, on, you can only go that far because of this fucking grip destroying going on right here. Look at that. You gotta, you gotta fix that, dude. Look over here. Look over here. You were doing it then too. You've probably been doing it for years and you just don't know it. You just don't know it. And that's what's gonna help you, uh, remember on the other one, I said, uh, if I could get you where Nick is at the top of his swing. Well, that's about where you'd be if your grip didn't blow up on you. Um, so anyway, remember what I said. At some point, you've got to recapture that grip, and it's going to typically be at the fastest point in your swing, and that's down at the bottom, and you just can't have all that, that club flashing through impact like that. You, you just can't do it. All right, so, all right, so there's your five right there. I'm still jealous of the lag, but a lot of that's kind of fake because it's it's all happening in your grip. I think you understand what I'm saying. All right. Here's your six. Here's your six. So you've, you've gotten back to, you're essentially in the same position. Um, hips are a little bit more open over on the left it looks like to me but you were hitting it a lot harder over here on the right today you were taking a nice easy swing alright so I'm just going to play real slow there's your hip stall look at that look at your pants blow up it's like they almost fall off it's like somebody pumps air into them with a compressor oh, <laughs> oh look at your arms just just I mean they just like they fall off your body and then you fake it. Oh, yeah, it's okay now. <laughs> but watch this. Much better. Much better. I'm telling you, dude, you need to go on the internet right now and order that V harness. I'm not shitting you. I'm, I, I have no motivation whatsoever. I don't have a vested interest, no conflict of interest telling you, recommending that you, you go buy it. I guarantee you that'll help. Now watch here. Watch your right wrist. So you, you've got a pretty good, at this point, you've got a pretty good angle right there. Okay? Keep it. Keep it. Don't lose. Look at that. Now it's flat. Look at that. Flip. 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 Hold that angle. Hold that angle. Look at that. Pretty good extension, but, you know, your shaft at this point, it should be right there. I know you understand that. So, but one thing at a time, I think first it's got to be that connection. 
Look at your arms. Look at that. Isn't that gross? Thank God it's a, a tons better. But you gotta keep that that V harness thing. What it is? It's got a little little cap that goes on the end of your grip, and it goes to a little bracket right there in the middle, and then you've got straps. So this line that goes to the to the grip of the club, it won't let your it won't let your arms race away. They stay at a consistent distance from where they started. If you set up at say 15 inches from from the butt end of the grip to your, to your sternum, it's going to be that 15 inches all the way through the swing. And what it does is it it requires you, it forces you to recruit your lower body, and and that's where you generate your power from. So anyway, that's what we got.